Okay, click on the menu and then click on settings. Scroll down and click on user. And as you can see, I have some test users I created earlier. Click on add user or profile and you get two options. User, a restricted profile. The normal user is just like standard access and a restricted profile. You can actually restrict apps and content. And I'll show you a bit of that later. But right now I'm going to click on a normal user. And it says add new user. After you create a new user, that person needs to go through a setup process. Any user can accept update apps permissions on behalf or all other users. I click OK. You can see what it says there. Make sure the person is available to take the tablet and set it up. So, yep, set up now. And there you go. You see, you've got a new user account, a new profile. Kind of a bit like Windows when you create a new profile. And see this little icon here. Um, you just swipe and you have to go through the welcome process. So it's just like next, 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 basically. Um, no, I'm not going to do that right now. I don't want to create a new Gmail account, so I'll just say no. But obviously, you would say yes. But I'm going to say no. Unless Google keeps and say no, and you say you got location. I'll say no, I'll say next to that. And here you got to put first name, can't really skip this, so I just put my usual test user. Test one, two, three. Next. And again, I can't skip, so here we go again. Test. I like a test user. I'm always doing test. Next, next, next. It takes a bit of a while actually. Okay, there you go. Google services next. Setup complete. Cool. And there you go. I'm logged in. And it's going through the usual, you know, welcome, like trying to get you used to the the menus and the apps. There you go. That's a new profile, completely clean. Well, I'll turn it off, turn it back on. And you can see if I click on the owner, this one's got a pin number. And I'm going to obviously hide this. So you don't see what my pin number is. And see in here. Um, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on restricted profile to create a new user. But this time, it's got different options and it allows you to select on and off for the different resources. So like that's the camera on off. Um, Chrome. See, it's pretty cool because if you've got someone in your family or a friend that you want to share your tablet with and you don't want them to see everything like your pictures or your calendar or your emails you can just restrict them to like one app or two apps which is pretty cool i don't think any other tablet that isn't a nexus can do that as far as i know so yeah like you see all these options here like playbooks music It'd be pretty cool to say music only at the moment, I'm just going to leave Chrome on just to show you this. So, okay, give it a name. This time I won't use test, so I'll just put John or something. Okay. And as you can see, it says it's not set up yet, so I have to click on that. Or should I say press on that? Okay. I 
I keep, I keep saying click and I should say tap or press. But anyway, so as you can see, there's another, another little icon at the bottom. And if you swipe on the right hand side, all you can see now is Chrome. You can't see any other app. And in the menu section, you can't see anything like any apps and the widgets. It's just really basic. They can hardly do anything. And you can see here. They can they can use Chrome just like a normal user, so pretty handy. Interface is blank. If you've got like a young child or something, you only want to give them access to one app. That is pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.